Hello, everybody, and happy Halloween! So, for this Halloween, I dressed up as Muz Nozera from the Owl House, and I've also had this idea for a fan tribe of my own for a very long while, though I've had many ideas for fan tribes. This one specifically was called Ash Wings. I liked this idea, and I saw a similar concept art, but for a a thing that wasn't Wings of Fire. It was not a Wings of Fire fandom. And I was like, wow, that's cool. I saw it wreathed in smoke. And then I recently reread Peril's book. And I kind of contributed all of that into something that was similar to Fire Scales. But, you know, not Fire Scales. I also looked at a bunch of different pictures of Koi because my brother owns a few. And I love the way that their scales just like all blotch up. It's like vitiligo. So I put that into the dragon. And this has got to be my favorite um, kind of dragon so far that I've ever even had a concept of fan tribes for. I like the fact that um, whenever I was making this dragon, I considered hay. The flames can't be on all the time because, I mean, what about raining? Would rain hurt the dragon? It hates water. It hates cold environments. Though it will, it, though it does have a sustainable area if it does need to survive in a cold environment. And the flames also show a sign of affection. So my friend also helped me with a few concept ideas. I've told her about this concept quite, about, quite a lot. Actually, several, several of my friends. But also, really quickly, before I continue on, I want to thank you guys so much for the 31 subscribers that I have right now. And that one video that I posted, the what if, I am just so, oh my gosh, I am, I'm amazed at how many views I've already gotten on it. That is like, unbelievable to me. Um, the description of this dragon, um, that I put in was, that it comes in a variety of colors, um, like reds, yellows, and oranges, and stuff like that. Um, and some rare conditions with, like, different colors, like purples, blues, and greens. And even some whites. I did not include the white variant because I completely mm -hmm. forgot about it, to be honest, so... <laughs> Right now, we just have the typical red fire, the blue fire, the green fire, and the purple fire. Um, I've been watching quite a few YouTube shorts, and one of them is from Lavender Town, who um, told me, who was like, if you don't like the characters that you draw, or like the stuff that you draw, make a base color, and then just lower the opacity on that base color after coloring everything in. And so that is exactly what I did, so you can tell it has different tints of the same blue base color that I stick with. Also, drawing fire is now my favorite thing to do. I love it. <laughs> I used to hate drawing fire. It's my favorite thing to do now, aside from drawing dragons mm -hmm. or working on a comic. So whenever I first started having concepts for this idea, it must have been... Maybe around the time that I started reading Peril's book for the first time, which must have been about Halloween last year. I recently started reading Wings of Fire, so that's actually really cool. And I'm so happy that I've just been attached to this fandom so much. Because, I mean, it's Wings of Fire who doesn't love a good dragon book here and there. Though this is getting a lot of... Uh, kind of long. I'm really sorry if I stutter a bunch. Um, I'm not very good with speaking. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you guys so much before I put on any music. Y'all are awesome, and thank you for the person that said that I would be as famous as Cypress one day. You are literally the sweetest person I have ever talked to online, except for, like, those little kids that are, that are just, like, so sweet for Halloween. They're just like, trick-or-treat, and 
Oh, oh. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> I really hope that you guys have a happy Halloween. I'm actually recording this really late. Um, I have no clue why I decided not to record. <laughs> so that was like really stupid of me. But here you guys go. A 10 minute video. Again, it's been a bit since yet since you guys have gotten one. Y'all gotten seven, three. It is insane. And I just, again, I really want to thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have given me in this past year. And um, the bases will be on my DeviantArt. The link in, will be in the description below. And they will be free to use, as well as an Icewing base and the other bases that I'm working on because someone has not drawn it and was being lazy. <laughs> Me. <laughs> but from now on, I'm just mainly going to post speed paints and map parts. I'm going to try and keep from using my voice a lot. Um, I do need to save that for presentations and stuff. I mean, woo, but I'm getting to that presentation phase of my senior year, so... Thank you guys so much. I hope y'all have a happy Halloween. Bye! Right here, right now, I put the offer out. I don't want to chase it down. I know you see it. You run with me, and I can cut you free out of the drudgery and walls you keep in. Don't drink that typical for something colorful And if it's crazy, live a little crazy You can play it sensible, a queen of conventional Or you can risk it all and see trapped in now i admire you and that will show you do you're onto something really it's something but i live among the swells and we don't pick up peanut shells i'll have to leave that up to you I'd be the talk of the town Disgraced and disowned Another one of the clowns But she would finally live a little Finally laugh a little Just let me give you the freedom to dream And it'll wake you up And cure your aching Take your walls and start on breaking Now that's a deal that seems worth taking But I guess I'll leave that up to you Oh wait, I do suppose it is Halloween spooky season. Y'all shall hear spooky music. Hiding under your bed, 
teeth ground sharp and eyes glowing red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 In this town we call home. Everyone hail to the pumpkin soul. In this town, don't.